could it be that we don't remember because we're losing our memories? Losing our memories? Hold on. Remember what that mystery fella said? In this place, to find is to lose. And to lose is to find. It must have been our memories he was talking about losing. So if we keep going, we'll lose more. Guess it really is Castle Oblivion. What's up, cool people? My name is Matt. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Alrighty. Continuing on with the story in Wonderland here. Um... I need 15 to get through this door. Jeez. Um, well, I've got an 8 there. And a 7 there. I could just use those. Any other cards that I have a bunch of. I don't want to use a Calm Bounty, though. Alright, yeah. I think I'll just go with this 8 and this seven and then the key card on to more story things got a little crazy back there but at least you're okay I don't mean to be ungrateful but was that true what you said? Are you the thief? What? Of course not. Why would I steal the queen's memory? Yep. Sora only said that because he wanted to save... to show off. Is that right? Well, you saved me all the same. Thank you. It's the Cheshire Cat. Feeling better after that mad dash, are we? Oh, but you're not out of the woods yet. Queen's a stickler for justice. She won't forget you till she remembers. She won't stop hounding you till you, you get her memory back. Did she forget because she remembers? Does she remember that she forgot? Doesn't matter, I suppose. I don't know. I think we ought to just stay away from her. But Sora, what about Alice? If the Queen catches her again, it's off with... Well, you know. Then I guess we'd better do something about the Queen. should do something. But you don't have to do anything. Huh? If you can't remember something, it's like it never happened. Likewise, if something never happened, you can't remember it. Try too hard to remember, and your memory might lie to you. Lie? That's all I'll say. The rest is for you to figure out. That kind of actually ends up saying something about the broader story of the game. Case in point, Organization 13 trying to make Sora remember things that were never really in his memory to begin with. Basically, in doing so, the organization wants to try and sway Sora a particular direction and get him to go with what they want. But, 
Maybe I shouldn't be saying that yet. Um, I think now I need to go back here. Man. Okay, here we go. Just any red. Okay, well, I've got four of these. I'll use a two. And then that. I just realized, I think I could use a zero card to fill any number requirement. Garsh, what's with the sudden change of scenery? Let's look around. Oh dear. Thought you'd seen the last of me, did you? Uh-oh. Game's up, scoundrels. For stealing my memory, I sentence you to... I sentence you to... Hmm? I... Sentence? Oh? What's going on? Where am I? Huh? What in the world am I doing? Confounded, I can't remember. What's wrong with her? Maybe somebody swiped her memory again. Sora, watch out. Something's coming. Uh, yes. This guy. So this is what stole the queen's memory. I wanted to try and use the bumper to lock on. Oh shoot, that's a neat. Sliding dash isn't going to do much against this guy. So far, this isn't going too bad, but I really wish it would stop having Sora use sliding dash there.
how was I not locked on during that? Why does it have to be sliding dash? I should have just tried to ditch that. Why did I do that? Come on, get up there. Okay, Goofy. Really? He did not stay down there very long at all. That's disappointing. Starting to get a little low on cards. I guess. those both miss. I don't get it. thinking of controls from other games.
There we go, jeez. Yeah, I wasn't really that close to dying at any given point, so it's not like it was that bad. Just, the card system makes it a little... Uh, I don't know. Makes it not as fun as it otherwise could be. We got the Trickmaster card. You there, all of you. What is the meaning of this? Where did that creature come from? How would we know? So, you, you refuse to answer? You're hiding something. They're plotting against me. Seize them immediately. Please, your majesty, wait. It was you who commanded us to destroy those creatures. Huh? Your majesty, in her prudence, didn't completely trust us at first. And so, at your majesty's command, we fought them to prove ourselves. Isn't that right, Sora? We did? I mean, we did, your uh, majesty. I told you to do that? But your majesty, don't you remember? Don't be ridiculous, I never forget anything. Of course I gave the command. You did splendidly. Well, that was close. <laughs> Way to improvise. I never would have thought of that. But the Cheshire Cat said as much. Try too hard to remember and your memory might lie to you. The Queen would never admit she forgot, so instead she remembered something that didn't happen. She ended up fooling herself. Hmm. What is it, Sora? Hmm? Nothing. Well, I guess you'll be safe now. And the Queen won't give us any more trouble. After all, we got rid of the Heartless just like she commanded. Don't tell me you've been fooled, too! Okay. Oh, jeez. Why don't... Or is this a new room? Maybe this... Maybe this is a new room. Conquerors... All right. Word-related question of the day. Do you pronounce that respite or respite? Given, you know, the typical rules of the English language, you would think it should be respite. But... Since when has English always stuck to its own rules? Wonderland is done. And now we're about to exit here. See what else is going on in actual Castle Oblivion. It's that creepy castle that I was talking about earlier. I know I didn't imagine it. Cause that was the castle where Sora had to use the Keyblade to free Kyrie's heart. Then he just disappeared. And I was so worried. How could I ever forget that? Oh. It was when I turned into a Heartless. Wait, that happened... in a castle? Ah, uh, you forgot that? Cause I remember perfectly. Then what's it called? That's easy, Alex. Uh, 
Every word. I finished the first volume right before we got to this castle. Now then, if I can just find it. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Let's have a look. Oh, how could it be? What's the matter? Oh, my entries, they're gone. Every page is blank. Where do we go? How could this have happened? I'm so careful with the journals. <laughs> All that hard work is gone. The journal's blank. What's going on? Maybe because Sora never actually read the journal, so it's not in his memory. Once we get out of the castle, let's help Jiminy rewrite the journal. I don't think Jiminy would erase his own journal. No, I don't think so either. What if it's more things? Huh? Goofy was telling us about another castle we've been to, but none of us really remembers it. Do you think? Could it be that we don't remember because we're losing our memories? Losing our memories? Hold on. Remember what that mystery fella said? In this place, to find is to lose. And to lose is to find. It must have been our memories he was talking about losing. So if we keep going, we'll lose more. Guess it really is Castle Oblivion. So the higher we go, the more we'll forget. Does that mean everything and everybody will be forgotten? Riku and Kairi too. Do you want to go back? Don't worry, fellers. We might forget about where we've been or what things we've seen, but we won't forget who our friends are. I don't know. Come on, Sora. When you turned into a Heartless, did you forget about me and Donald? Of course I didn't. There you go! No matter what happens, you won't forget your friends! Oh. You're right. Thank you, Goofy. So, I just get in here that can make you forget about your friends! Then we have nothing to be scared of! Let's go! But when I turned into a Heartless, who was the one who took forever to notice and kept clobbering me? How come you couldn't forget about that? <laughs> <laughs> So I gotta say, I was I was chatting with somebody else a little bit about the Kingdom Hearts games, and part of the reason they weren't totally sure that they wanted to play them was because they knew how heavily Donald played into things and didn't really want to listen to uh, his his voice and the way he speaks for very long. I think, I mean, granted, there's some of the games in the series that I haven't played, but out of the four that I have, I think this is the one where Donald features the most. <laughs> At least in actual, like, voiced speaking roles. 
relative to the 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 whole story of a, a particular game. Anyway, if you're still remembering the silly stuff, we'll be okay. There's no way we could ever forget our friends. All right. Let's at least get a gander at what the next world is, eh? So we could go to Agrabah, Olympus, Monstro, or Halloween Town. Now, if we're following the order of the previous game, Olympus would be the next logical choice. So here we go. Pretty sure that's the order I did it in when I first played. But anyway. Look, an announcement. some sort of contest. They're calling it the Olympus Coliseum Survival Cup. Contenders have to run an obstacle course, battling each other along the way. And listen to this. The great hero Hercules will also compete for the cup. It says here he's never been beaten. Sounds like fun. Why don't we enter too? I thought you'd say that. Whenever there's a contest, you're raring to join up. You're going to compete even if we don't, right? Uh-huh. Guess we'd better tag along then. Hold it, everyone. There's more. Only contenders who finish the preliminary course may enter the main competition. It says the preliminary course is just ahead. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hercules is a model of true strength and gallantry. The perfect hero? Oh, he's perfect, all right. Perfectly infuriating! Just thinking about that little sunspot makes me boil. Who I'd like to drag him into the underworld. Which is why you hired me. That's right. You're my man. Cloud, is it? Your job is to beat Hercules in the games. And once you've got him cornered, finish the job. Do that for me, and you restore my lost memories, as we agreed. You have my word. This seems like an awfully familiar situation. Ah, uh, crud. Okay. Didn't get the spacing right to... to end up you know, getting a preemptive strike on the enemies. Blue Rhapsody. Got a fire card there. Let's 
speaking of Blue Rhapsodies, hello. Strike raid. Okay. Uh, hurl the keyblade forward, stunning and dealing damage to enemies in its path. Three attack cards, total value 24 to 26. Jeez. So basically, all high value cards. Wasn't too bad. Eh, uh, jeez. Figures that it was too easy to just have a couple of shadows in there. I still think the spinning attack is overall more effective. Okay. Lasting days. Alright, I think we're done with Heartless in this one. One didn't give us anything. Bit of a bummer, but oh well. I don't think anything happens if you jump on top of these, it's just kind of there. If anything were going to happen from jumping on these, I would figure it would send you in this direction. But no, anyway. I'm trying to keep an eye on my time here. Okay, anything with a one or above. Got three of those, lowest is four. Four of those, but the lowest is a four. Three of those with a one. Uh, room where striking first deals heavy damage to Heartless. That wouldn't be bad. Come bounty. Would give us treasure. Or I could do a Moogle room. We haven't done a Moogle room yet. Let's do that. Granted, there's a bunch of these rooms we haven't done yet, but I've been getting Moogle points all this time and haven't been able to use any of them. Hey, speaking of... Yay, Moogle points. Or at least, eventually, yay, I would think. The Moogle Shop is a Moogle establishment where you can trade in cards. Exchange cards you don't need anymore for Moogle points. Save up enough points and you can trade them in for a new card pack. You can get a free card pack the first time you visit the Moogle Shop. Here's a card pack for you, Koopo. Okay. Three copies of Lady Luck with three, five, and five. Got an Olympia. 
with a five and a kingdom key with a five. Hi, you Koopo. Buy some card packs before you go, Koopo. Got any old cards, Koopo? Trade them in for points. All right, let's see what we might get in some packs here. Um, so you could buy a mixture of attack magic and item, or you can specifically buy a whole pack with just a specific kind. I'm inclined to at least try and get one of each. More attack cards. Okay. Still nothing above a five. Yeah, the magic ones are 200. Blizzard, Simba, Blizzard, Fire. Now, why is this one yellow? I feel like that means something special. But I'm not sure what at the moment. I don't quite remember. Item cards. All potions with literally every value from 1 to 5. Hmm. Quickly reloads reloadable attack cards. Just the attack cards. Interesting. Not sure I had really paid much attention to that before. So generally speaking, unless you plan on coming back to a Moogle room within a world, you probably want to use all your Moogle points while you're in one. Earn points. Okay, that just lets you go back and forth between... I still don't know what the shininess does. Is it, like, extra powerful? Is that... I don't know. Um, I could probably ditch a couple of Kingdom Key cards. Could trade that in for six points. Higher values also give you more Moogle points. I don't necessarily want to get rid of any Simba cards because I could try and stack those together to make a more powerful Simba attack thing. Increases the strength of ice-based abilities. Interesting. Uh, that's not quite what I meant to do, but oh well, I probably wasn't going to trade any more, any more of those anyway. More cards. Okay, we got another yellow one here. I'm still not totally sure what that does. More magic. Okay, we got a cure, a couple of ices, a Simba, and a fire. And more items, just cause. Ooh, we got an 8 this time. Nice. Um, and I guess one more set of attack cards just because. Ooh, we got a 9. Nice. Okay. So yeah, that that's a Moogle room for you and how that all works. Is this the next room that progresses the story? No, that's the room after. That's the second story room. I uh, need a three or higher. Gotcha. Okay. Could do that one with a four. Could do that with a four. Meeting ground. If you have friends, a friend card appears at the start of battles. Move slowly. Could do that since that's exactly a three. Could do a calm bounty.
You know, why not? I'm in a new room exploration kind of mood. That doesn't seem to do anything. Treasure! What do we get? Sora learns Blizzard Raid. Interesting. Okay. That's another slight kind of thing if I do Blizzard and then two attack cards. Yeah. Got a few more removal points there. Is this the room we're looking for? No. I'll get there eventually. But before I enter the next story room, I would probably end up wanting to, uh... You know, save the game. Um... Alright, let's go with a meeting ground for four. There will be some fighting in this room, but... There will be extra help at the start of each battle. Hey, right, come on. Oh, please tell me I didn't just happen into duck on it. I wound up dropping down on the shadow instead of getting the, uh, the blue rhapsody in. There. Oh, yeah. That did some damage there. Alright, come on. Let me get the Donald card. I didn't end up using the Donald card, though. Whoopsie. Okay. Anywho. A sorceress waking. I'm a little surprised that hit the Blue Rhapsody there. So I would guess that this here is going to be the room that we need for story progress. Is it? No. Uh, geez. It's going to make me go like all the way to the other end of this world. Why did I do that? It was completely unnecessary. Especially against just a shadow. Come on. You know what? I'll just use plain Goofy with his tornado attack. Double Donald. Nice. Okay. thinking if I had done Olympus before uh, if I had done Olympus before Wonderland it might not have gone 
so well. I don't know. No, thank you. I'll just do it like this. Now, now why'd you have to use blizzard magic on the ice enemies? Come on, Donald. What are you thinking? Okay. Got another Moogle Room card. Value seven. Actually, I should be going after this dude first. The shadows tend to use pretty weak, pretty low value cards. No, that's not what I was trying to do at all. Oh well. More Donald. Donald. I'm trying to get through some of this stuff sort of quickly just because in the stream I've got an ad break coming up. Okay. That battle's done. Hopefully I can find the room that I need for the... Wait, didn't that mean that's where I came from? But it would show that it's open if that was the case, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Alrighty. Uh, something with a five. Something with a five. That's got a six. I'm just gonna go right to that. Actually, real quick. Let me just do something here. In the stream. Okay. Okay. Said to put a bit, put a bit of a snooze on the ad break. that it, uh, the fact that it has me doing, like, all the rooms first just means it's gonna be, like, pure story to start things off in the next episode. Nice. Goofy with a value of nine. Okay. Darkness. None of that stuff I just tried hit what I was aiming at. Because darn shadow enemies just, like, make themselves unhittable when they 
sink into the ground like that. That door there is the one that I actually need to advance the story. I did not mean to actually, like, start using that combo right then, but oh well. Now. Okay. Break some of this stuff here. And these are apparently things you just jump on. You don't smack them with the keyblade. This has to be it, right? Yeah, okay. But that's where we'll start things off in the next episode. All right, so we wrapped up Wonderland and got started a li at least a little ways on uh, Olympus. And I gotta say... While the story has kind of gotten a little more convoluted in this game, I I kind of appreciate how it just, like, slowly but surely, world by world, keeps giving you just little pieces of the puzzle, if you know what I mean. Like, there's just little snippets of dialogue between the characters that eventually as you progress through the story like it kind of you know puts a bunch of things together helps like it all kind of helps make sense of the whole situation and what all is going on but um <laughs> i suppose that means uh you know we've got more pieces of the puzzle yet to come quite a few still if i remember right but anyway as always, like and share if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell if you're on YouTube to get updates when I post new videos. If you're seeing this anywhere else, give me a follow or whatever you need to do for that platform. Uh, look down in the description to get info on other social media pages and all that kind of stuff. And leave comments down below with any thoughts you have. So, I uh, hope you're all doing well. Hopefully I'll see you soon for another video. But whatever the case is, till next time, stay cool people.